Welcome back. I'm back. You're back. All right. We back. Welcome, everyone. This is episode on the Ultimate Sports TV, guys. Now, we all know that Trey Lance was drafted to the 49ers at number three overall in this year's NFL draft. And there's already been a lot of speculation, even some things going on within the 49ers training camp that would make you think that Trey Lance could be the starter this year for the 49ers at some point in the season. Now, should the 49ers go Lance over Jimmy G this year as their starting quarterback? I'm going to get into all of that right after I remind you to subscribe to the Ultimate Sports TV, like this video for me, share this video and YouTube channel, then comment down below if you think Trey Lance should start over Jimmy G at some point this year, down in the comment section below everyone. But this topic, it's really just flying around and flying really up the radar as we are in training camp right now. It's one of the popular topics right now. As we saw Trey Lance have a pretty nice preseason game. We saw the 80-yard throw he had versus the Chiefs in his first preseason game. Look, it's making people go bonkers. People love Trey Lance, and the 49ers love Trey Lance. But should Trey Lance start over Jimmy Garoppolo this year? Everyone, my answer to this would have to be no. I think Jimmy G is the rightful starter in San Francisco right now, and I think he needs to be the starter for numerous reasons. I know everyone is excited about Trey Lance. I'm excited about Trey Lance, too. I think he's going to be a great quarterback in the NFL, and I think he's going to be fun to watch. But look, I think right now, Jimmy G is the best option for the 49ers in terms of who gives them the best chance to win as a quarterback right now. Now, look, Jimmy G is a good quarterback. Let's not downplay that. Yes, he's not Patrick Mahomes or Lamar Jackson or Russell Wilson to where he can extend plays or he's super athletic. But he's a good starting quarterback in the NFL who has helped the team get to the Super Bowl before. I know he is not the most athletic guy in the league, but he's a good quarterback. And with the good pieces accommodated around him with Debo Samuel, with George Kittle, with Brandon Ayuk, with Raheem Mostert in the backs behind him, and with the offensive line, and Kyle Shanahan, I think Jimmy Garoppolo as a quarterback, what he has around him, I think he gives the 49ers the best chance to win right now. When I look at it right now, there is no need for Trey Lance because... Jimmy Garoppolo is a good quarterback. Look, Trey Lance still needs to learn as a quarterback. He's a raw prospect coming out of the draft. He still has a lot to learn as a quarterback. And when you have Jimmy Garoppolo in front of him, who is a proven good quarterback, a good starting quarterback in this league, there's no need for Trey Lance. Now, I know a lot of people say that Jimmy Garoppolo held the 49ers back in the Super Bowl because he wasn't able to extend plays or make extra plays on the run out of the pocket as a quarterback, and he didn't have the athleticism to really get the 49ers over the hump in the Super Bowl, and they see the play-extending ability in Trey Lance to be able to help get the 49ers over the hump. But I'm going to ask you this. Is Trey Lance ready to do what you wanted Jimmy Garoppolo to do in the Super Bowl? Is he able to do that right now in his first year, replacing him over Jimmy Garoppolo as a starting quarterback? Is he ready to do and take a team to the Super Bowl? I don't think so. Yes, Trey Lance can extend plays. Yes, he's athletic, but he's not polished enough to lead a team to the Super Bowl right now like Jimmy Garoppolo is. Trey Lance is a raw prospect, and I think right now Jimmy Garoppolo is the best guy to go with right now for your quarterback position. Now, people, knowing that Trey Lance is a raw prospect, raw quarterback coming out of the draft, knowing that he needs to get better as an accurate passer, knowing he needs to become a smarter quarterback, and knowing he needs to work through his progressions better, I think putting Trey Lance in right now would be rushing him. And I would say this, don't rush Trey Lance, and I think there's two things that could come out of it. Two good things that can come out of it. One, I think this year, if you sit Trey Lance, he can get better and learn more under Jimmy Garoppolo for a year. And he's learned and polished. He's learned a lot in his first year. And you don't have to really jump him into play automatically knowing there's still some stuff for him to learn. And number two, starting Jimmy Garoppolo and sitting Trey Lance will give you a good quarterback now and will give you a different but good quarterback later. If you start Jimmy Garoppolo now and let Trey Lance sit he gets to learn, but you also get to have a good quarterback this year in Jimmy Garoppolo. Have him do some good things for your team and possibly get you back to the Super Bowl. Then next year, you have a more polished Trey Lance, a more smarter Trey Lance, and a better quarterback as Trey Lance, and you have a good quarterback for the next few years. So if you sit Trey Lance this year, you still get a good 
get a good quarterback this year in Jimmy Garoppolo. And then you bring Trey Lance in next year to start, then you'll have a polished Trey Lance, and you'll have a Trey Lance that is a smarter, more accurate quarterback, and it'll get better with reps. So I think there's two good things that can come out of not rushing Trey Lance and just rushing him onto the field right now. Now we got to predict it a little bit here. Should the 49ers go Trey Lance over Jimmy Garoppolo? No. But will they go Trey Lance over Jimmy Garoppolo? I'm going to say yes. I think at some point in this 2021 NFL season, Trey Lance will be the starter over Jimmy Garoppolo. And you can automatically point it to this in having pressure of starting your rookie quarterback. They traded for Trey Lance. The 49ers traded for Trey Lance with a lot of pieces going forward to go get that number three pick to go ahead and pick Trey Lance. They obviously love Trey Lance, and they've showed that with their actions and their comments. He's taken first team reps before, and that may be just because they want to get this guy in some reps because he didn't have too many games played in his college career. But if you're putting this guy with the first team reps when you already have a first team quarterback in Jimmy Garoppolo, you're obviously getting Trey Lance ready for something big this year when I see that in my opinion. And Kyle Shanahan said there could even be more first team reps in the future for Trey Lance. There is an emotional attachment and pressure to putting Trey Lance in because they moved up for him in the draft. And hey, they're already getting ready to move on from Jimmy Garoppolo. There's already been rumors. There's already been comments from Kyle Shanahan made that they're kind of ready to move on from Jimmy Garoppolo. And that's why they went up and got a quarterback, but they actually got a quarterback that they love in Trey Lance. There's an emotional attachment and they're going to want to see Trey Lance sooner or later. The guy they love in Trey Lance. And hey, Jimmy Garoppolo's not Aaron Rodgers. You don't have Aaron Rodgers in front of Trey Lance and you have Aaron Rodgers as that bona fide starting quarterback. Jimmy Garoppolo is in front of Trey Lance. They kind of want to move on from Jimmy Garoppolo. So there wouldn't be maybe any surprise about putting Trey Lance in there knowing they want to move on from Jimmy Garoppolo. But I think it could be kind of like the Tua and Ryan Fitzpatrick situation last year. The Dolphins were really succeeding with Ryan Fitzpatrick at one point and they really hadn't succeeded like that before. Then as soon as they succeeded, they went ahead and put two in there because they wanted to see how he worked with a well-oiled machine. And they also just love Tua as a guy that they drafted. So I think it could be a situation like that. They just love Trey Lance and they're ready to move on from Jimmy Garoppolo. And it's not like Jimmy Garoppolo is Aaron Rodgers. But is it the best way to go? No. Look, Trey Lance is going to be a great QB in, a, in the NFL in a couple of years. But when you're in the 49ers situation, when you have a good quarterback in Jimmy Garoppolo and you can wait and develop your young quarterback in Trey Lance, you don't have to put Trey Lance in right now. And all the signs should point to Jimmy Garoppolo being the rightful starter at this point because you could sit and develop Trey Lance and you could have a better Trey Lance, a more refined Trey Lance next year. And Jimmy Garoppolo could give you a good year this year. And hey, Jimmy Garoppolo is not a bad quarterback, but knowing he's not Aaron Rodgers, knowing the 49ers could look to move on from him very, very soon. I wouldn't be surprised to see Trey Lance in there this year. And I think at some point in the middle of the season when the 49ers are actually succeeding and they want to take it to new heights with a guy that can do a lot more with ex extending plays and being a more athletic quarterback, I think they could look to Trey Lance because they're excited to get him in there. They like what he could do to uh, really elevate your offense and he could expand your playbook. But the only thing is, you got to polish him up for a year because he is a raw prospect. So Jimmy Garoppolo is the best way to go. But hey, I think Trey Lance at some point this year will be the starting quarterback for the 49ers because of the emotional attachment and because of what we've seen. He's gotten first team reps before. And that's my that's my opinion on it. Will Jimmy Garoppolo be the starting quarterback all of the year over Trey Lance? No, I think Trey Lance will be the starter at some point. But should Trey Lance be a starter at any point in this season, this year? My answer to that would be no. I think Jimmy Garoppolo is the rightful starter this year, everyone. Other than that, give your comments in the comment section below, guys. Should the 49ers go Trey Lance over Jimmy Garoppolo as their starting quarterback this year? And will they go Trey Lance over Jimmy Garoppolo as their starting quarterback? Other than that, this is Malik Hicks, a.k.a. The Ranker of the Ultimate Sports TV, signing off. Peace out, and I'll see you on the other side.